structuring your responses. Appearing before the Joint Parliamentary Committees on Finance and National Planning and that of Communication, Information and Innovation to shed light on the controversial buyback deal, Telcom Board Chair Edward Njoroge argued that the board lacked a quorum to facilitate the completion of a transaction they were not privy to, a situation that prompted him and the board to seek the Attorney General's opinion before the transaction was finalized. I am not a representative of Jamuhuri Holdings. And if you really want um, uh, to get Jamhuri Holdings, uh, you have their contacts. You should get them to come here, Mr. Chairman. This tweet opened a can of worms with committee members confused as to the legality of the multi-billion shilling transaction. Kama mtu wamekwachiri kasi, utayanda ufanya kasi kama mtu kibinafsi ama utafanya kasi kuligana raya matakwa ya ule ambaya wamekwachiri. Kuligana na mimi naona ni kana kwamba ule ambaya ameletu hapa Chairman, um, uh, mwenye kitu wa telko, mana tudanganya. MPs led by Daniel Kimayo and Baringo Women Representative Florence Jemutia questioned the chair on why he didn't know about the transaction despite being in the process of JHL since 2015. Ule mkurukezi mgu, uh, mku kutoka Ilios, alikuandikia uchitoe kwenye telko kama, mkuruge, uh, kama uh, mwenye kiti. Na umekubali hapa, umekiri ya kwamba ulikuwa uchiondoe. Sasa, walikuwa nakuandikia kama nani? Mr. Chairman, this is not unusual. I mean, the board, as I said, of many companies where I'm an independent board member and I don't represent the interests of those who either nominate me into the board. They also wanted Njoroge to divulge his relationship to Telcom vis-a-vis -vis his nomination to the board by JHL. During the hearing, Njoroge maintained that he did not receive a portion of the $6 billion that was in the deal. And it will be of interest to Auditor General to carry out audit process under Telcom. And the key auditee is the board where you are the chair. What are you reporting in your books of accounts as far as equity statement is concerned? Those loans are still being carried there because, because Telcom has not repaid those loans. Also present at the hearing was the Communication Authority CEO Ezra Chiloba who mentioned that they did not approve the transaction. As at the date of this submission, this has not been done and therefore the authority is not aware yet if the changes approved on 13th April 2022 occurred or not. The committee is investigating the circumstances in which the government dispersed $6 billion to Telcom Kenya to buy shares from JHL, a firm registered in Mauritius. The joint committee also summoned former ICT cabinet secretary Joe Mushero and former treasury CS Ukuri Atani to shed light on the deal in the hearing slated for tomorrow. Busara Naman, K24 TV, Nairobi.